In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of Saint Barnabas, who was born in uh, Cyprus, one of the early converts in Jerusalem, and vouch for Saint Paul when he appeared before the elders there. He accompanied Paul on the on his first missionary journey, and later went to uh, journey. We went to. Cyprus with his cousin John Mark to preach the gospel there. He was probably martyred at Salamis in Cyprus sometime before the year 61. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. O oh Lord, have mercy, O oh Lord, have mercy, Lord, mercy, O oh Lord, have mercy on us, O oh Christ, have mercy, O oh Christ, have May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithful proclaimed by word and by deed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book. Of kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, Move on to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a window a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it and called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now, I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. 
Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first make a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me. Oh, my just God, you who relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me and hear my prayer. Man of rank, how long will you be dull of why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, keep your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and see not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart more than when grain and wine A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything. But to be thrown, it is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about me. Can we make this as a our own expression it's not about me it's about the Lord it's about others it's not about me this is the role of the soul this is the role of the light it's not about the salt itself it's not about the light itself but it's about others the soul gives labor to the substance or labor to the food the light uh, it it's about others it gives sh it shines others so that the that thing that it is light upon will uh, be seen will uh, have its beauty its beauty can be seen because it's because of the light. You know, there is, uh, there is this uh, psychology or the, the child psychology perhaps. A child psychology is about, it's about himself. It's about itself. Ang uh, psychology sa usaka bata, para ragina sa iyang kaugalingon, no? It, the world revolves around him. The world revolves around her. When we were child, ako ni, it's mine. This is our psychology during our childhood. That my concern as a child is your concern also. Ingon anak man ang bata, di ba? Ako ni, kung dili ganin na matagag attention siya, Muhilak na siya. Patagad na ang usaka bata. It seeks attention. This is the psychology of a child. But hopefully, when we mature, when we grow up, it's not about yourself. It's not about me. Hopefully, it's about others. When you, when you grow up, it's about God. This is the role of the soul, the role of the light. It, the soul, it gives flavor to the food. Nga tungod sa asin, bugawas ang kalami no sa sudan, pananglitan ang nilatan nga baka. Nilatan nga baka with just the right amount of salt, the flavor of the beef no, will enhance. Mugawas ang kalami. Pero sa ako ng gingo, no, with just right amount of salt, kay kung masubraan ang sinabuan nga baka, mingon naman ka, parata ani ay. Or kung tabang, katabang ba ani? Pero kung sakto lang nga asin, dili man ka moingon nga lami as asin. Moingon yung ka kalami sa baka. The salt gives flavor to the food. It that, dili na siya manotice. The salt cannot be noticed. I think that is the function or the role of the salt. 
is, its function is not to be recognized, but with just right amount, it enhances the food. So also the light. With just a, a proper light, you can do whatever you want to do. Tungod sa sakto nga kahayag, makabasa ka og tarong. Kung, kung ngit-ngit po, Prag blurry kayo or blurred. No? Pero kung suwaw po kayo, hayag kayo, no? marakag mabuta. This is our role as Christian. To be the salt. To be the light. Not to outshine others. But just give the right, proper uh, lighting. I think leadership is all about that. Ang usa ka leader mo pagawas sa iyang mga members the best they can do. The best of themselves will bring out because of your leadership. Or maybe ang usa ka inahan, ang usa ka amahan, the parents, no, they are the light and salt of their children. No? Because it's not about the parents anymore. It's about their children. Na tungod nila, bigawas ang ilahang potentials. They bring the best of their children. The teachers, the teachers, during graduation, when the students no, uh, receive their diplomas, iman tawgon ang teacher when they receive the diplomas or the awards or the medals no? ang mga maestro maestra nga nagtudlo ani mga bataa na nakadawat og award naara sa kilid pero sila ay nagtudlo ani nila nagiya they are the light and salt of their students that the students bring out the best of themselves or perhaps when you out you outshine when you give uh, uh, over over emphasis of the soul kurag parat kayo kung sa tao pa na you magnify yourself ang mga gawas ana mahimo kang ko ano patagad mo kay niya no anong hambugiro mo kay niya iya hamang yung ipakita Iyahamang yung iparecognize ang iyang kaugalingon. Uh, during uh, election, no, ay gitawag nga ipalisen. No, ipalisen no. Anang gitawag o papapil, no, ipal. No. Uh, dagko kayo mga pangan sa mga kandidato. Mas dako pa sa ilahang project. No. This project no, belongs to uh, I think they outshine. Okay, supposedly, ang kwarta magina sa mga tao, no? ang tax magina. It's not about them, no? but it's about the people. As Christians, we are called to be salt. We are called to be light. Not, not to outshine, but to shine others that they may glorify God. No? Tungod ni mo, Nigawas ang ilahang pagkamaayo. The best of them brings out. Tungod ni mo, they glorify God. It's not about you. It's about others. It's about God. This is the role of the soul. This is the role of the light. Amen. Let us pray to God, the Father, who wants all persons to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may guide the Pope, the bishops, and priests in promoting the cause of the mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that missionaries may proclaim Christ to the world, not by power or prestige, but by humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The love of God and neighbor may inspire the lay faithful to collaborate in the missionary task of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may realize their responsibility of spreading the good news of salvation to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young men and women may have the courage to answer the call of Christ and to serve in the missionary apostolate. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, it is your will that your kingdom be proclaimed and established everywhere. Through the intercession of St. Barnabas, grant fruitfulness to our missionary endeavor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed Apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold and build through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Spirit. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace, peace with you. Peace. Let of God you take away the seeds of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The emptiness in our hearts in vain We deny in Him alone is our hope In Him alone is our strength In Him alone are we justified in Him alone? Are we saved? Let us pray. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings here present here. And as we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed Apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold and build through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. And of what the Lord has done for us.